A very good evening and salam surat ku sayang. And now for the latest updates on the COVID-19 situation. Kedah, Sabah and Sarawak have decided not to follow the federal government's move to relax the Movement Control Order, MCO, which includes allowing most businesses to reopen with conditions. Selangor and Negeri Sembilan have said they would restrict the number of businesses when operations resume tomorrow. According to Kedah Menteri Besar, Datuk Seri Demukris Mahadir, Kedah would not compromise on the safety and welfare of the people. And he urged Kedahans to stay at home, adopt good hygiene and practice social distancing. Joining the five states are Penang and Pahang. According to Penang Chief Minister Chao Kun Yeo, although it is necessary to restart the economy in the state, it cannot take the risk to completely loosen the MCO. The Ministry of Transport has ruled that all flights to Sarawak must be restricted in order to ensure that there are adequate rooms in quarantine centers. Its minister, Dr. Lee Kim Shin, in a statement said it was also a decision from the Sarawak Disaster Management Committee, SDMC, which also included the availability of hotel rooms to meet the needs of passengers at one time. He added he personally contacted Malaysia's Minister for Transport to limit the frequency, flights, uh, frequency of flights from Kuala Lumpur to Sarawak. The flight schedules that had been agreed are Kuala Lumpur to Kuching four times weekly, one time weekly to Bintulu, two times weekly to Miri, and one time weekly to Cebu. Sarawak government's decision in not implementing the Conditional Movement Control Order, CMCO, was the right move in ensuring that the people will remain vigilant against COVID-19. Assistant Minister of Local Government and Housing, Dr. Anwar Rapai, in a statement said the easing of the restrictions might prompt some people to let their guards down and become complacent. He added, the decision although might jeopardize the economy, but health and safety are more important than anything else. Well, that's all news updates for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Razi Ahmad for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.